name's Alexis, and I am going to demonstrate a dish called glutinous rice fried with chicken and mushrooms in a mixture of soy sauce and sesame oil. It's a very simple recipe. It only takes 15 to 20 minutes to cook, although you do have to pre-soak the rice the night before. The ingredients are very easy. You have chicken, which is sliced into very thin strips, as thinly as you can. Mushrooms, again sliced, and these come from the dry version, which you soak for 20 minutes, which results in that. You squeeze the water out and then just slice them. A couple of teaspoons of oil. glutinous rice and some Chinese sausages sliced very thinly again if you want you can do that okay the rest are ingredients so we'll put them aside and we start the dish by using the oil garlic into the pan Sizzle the garlic for about two to three minutes until it starts to brown. When the garlic starts to brown, add the soaked and drained glutinous rice. Coat the rice with the garlic and oil. and let it fry for a few minutes. Continually stir the rice as you do not want it to stick to the pan and burn. Once the rice is coated, add the seasoned chicken and mushrooms which you have already seasoned with soy sauce and sesame oil. No salt, no pepper at this stage. Put it into the pan and mix it through with the rice and gradually fry it. As the pan starts to dry out, have some water spare and gradually add teaspoons of water and stir. Do not be tempted to pour all the water in as glutinous rice takes not a lot of water and only when it feels like it, when it's cooking. This continues stirring this for about 10 to 15 minutes, gradually adding a little bit of water as and when the pan starts to dry out a little bit. As the rice and chicken are starting to cook, add the Chinese sausage. And stir through. Chinese sausage is a little bit sweet, therefore, as you fry it, the flavor of the sausage will go into the rice. Test a small grain of rice to see if it's cooked. And once there is no powdery taste of the rice, and the rice is still chewy, then the dish is cooked. Serve it and then garnish it with a few strips of carrot, a couple of bits of green onions and sesame seeds.